Hello there, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Michael's Munchies. Uh, today I have these Lay's Adobadas uh, flavored for the FIFA World Cup that's going on right now. Um, from what I could find, uh, I looked it up to know exactly uh, what was going on. Uh, adobo is a kind of seasoning. Um, I guess from the Philippines, and then adoba das is like the seasoned meat. Uh, a lot of things said just specifically uh, pork, but uh, I can't be sure. And I saw one thing that was a little weird is that, or maybe not, um, there's adoba dos and adoba das. And adoba dos is the masculine version, and adoba das is the feminine version. But anyway, this should be uh, like a seasoned meat flavored. So let's go ahead and uh, try them out. But I'm far away from the mic, so not too terrible. Okay. That's a seasoning on there. Okay, not too bad smell. It's a nice smell. It's not super like doesn't smell like there's a lot of um, different different spices mixing together or anything like that. And of course, it doesn't smell smell spicy, but should be good there. Kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead. And give them a try. Okay. Those are pretty good. Not terrible. Like, it's not... I'm not getting any sort of, like, specific spice, like, jumping out at the forefront or anything like that. So... But, from what I could tell, let's see, there was, um, let's see, the adobo is made with garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, salt, pepper, and sometimes dried citrus. Um, there's both a wet version and a dry version. I don't know, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm mean, getting, I guess, like the onion. A little bit of onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. And that's kind of it. But, but it's a nice seasoned meat. It does. It does, uh, it is reminding me of, like, kind of like a, a seasoned pulled pork. Or something like that, but yeah, no, I think it. I think these are really good. Um, I've never had uh, anything flavored with adobo or adobo das uh, um, before, but these are tasting pretty good. I like them. They've got a good flavor to it. Nothing overpowering. Nothing that makes you like feel that you can't have very many or anything like that. So, no, these are very nice. I like them. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, really great flavor. Very interesting, especially if you've never had it before. Um, so, if you ever have had. Uh, the flavored meat or anything like that uh, let me know and uh, if you've also tried this and you've had both uh, let me know how they how they compare to each other because uh, these chips taste really good so I'd be interested in trying um, the meat and uh, what's that 
and whatnot with it. So, um, yeah, overall, um, yeah, I'd say it's a good eight. Um, unfortunately, I can't quite compare it to the real thing, so because I've never had it, but these are really tasty. Um, I would recommend them uh, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, slightly off topic. Um, I don't know if anybody uh, who they're let me know who you're rooting for in the FIFA World Cup. Um, I've seen only a few things on it, but uh, I don't watch a lot of soccer or or football. But um, I have watched the uh, recently released um, Welcome to Wrexham documentary, and that was really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I've used to watch a lot of uh, Manchester United games in the past, but nothing too recent. Anyway, um, that all aside, uh, yeah, we should give them a try. I think they're great. Um, Michael's Munchies on Instagram. Michael's, oh, I already messed it up. Michael's Munchies on Facebook. Michael's underscore Munchies on Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel like it. And until next time, enjoy your food. Yeah, yeah.